The steel dog rebar hooks are a, a low cost, fast way to connect your formwork to rebar using simple threaded rod. Uh, now the opposed hook design on them allows for a very easy self-rotating hook that'll actually latch onto rebar uh, without any extra keeper plates or nuts. So this is a very, very simple way uh, to tie into rebar. Blindside forming is a method of pouring a freestanding concrete wall within inches of an existing vertical structure. It's typically used when tying forms directly to an existing structure is not possible, or when there's not enough room to place standard form panels on both sides of the wall. A typical blindside wall is made up of three components. A single use form system such as stay form mesh that will be left in place after the pour, a handset forming system, and a series of ties to hold the two together. Construction of the stay form wall is fairly straightforward. A footer is poured with vertical rebar in place. The rebar should be spaced to match the tie spacing that will be used. Next, two by eight sheets of stay form are fastened to the rebar using wire ties. Sheets should overlap by two ribs and nest together. Ribs should be facing the pour. Tie locations are marked using spray paint and slits are cut on either side of the rebar using a steel dog harpoon tool, an angle grinder, or tin snips. After you've cut those slits, the rebar hook can actually pass through the stay form and grab the rebar that's behind it. So that provides you a tie connection to the rebar on the stay form side of the wall. Then you can see with the coil rod, we've transitioned to a handset form tie. Uh, in this case, again, for a steel ply style form. Another popular way to use rebar hooks is with large slabs, where you've often got a really thick rebar mat that you can actually use to tie into. So traditionally, people would either brace the outside of their formwork or run really long ties from one end of the slab to the other. But that's, that can be expensive, and particularly with long ties, it's very hard to snake them through the rebar mat. So with a rebar hook, you can tie those edge forms down into the rebar mat. And we can show you over here where we've got a couple different uh, fastening systems set up. Now this is an RH48, which is a rebar hook that'll go up to number nine rebar uh, and transitions back to half inch coil rod. So this is actually tied to the rebar mat. Uh, then you've got a short piece of, of coil rod and then this long neck transition tie, which goes back to your edge forms. Now this tie is actually bent at the forms, which allows you to tie down at an angle, and like I said, as we call it, internally bracing this formwork. Uh, it's a very, very quick way and a low cost way to, uh, to brace your formwork in large mass slab pours. The Steel Dog makes tons of variations of our rebar hook for different size rebar and also for different thread forms. We can do the standard, which is half inch coil rod, but we also go up to one inch coil rod as well as Dewey Dag Rod in both 15 millimeter and 20 millimeter. And if you get above a number nine rebar, we make a rebar coil clamp, which is uh, a little bit different than a hook, but it allows you to clamp onto up to number 11 size rebar. So if you've got a tie perpendicularly into rebar, uh, Steel Dog certainly has a solution for you.